in order to add a validator a validator that will ensure that the user indeed enters a value to specific text field or something similar we need to use the required field validator control one of the available control within the validation category so I just double click the um, required field validator control and now I configure it first I specify the message or I want the user to get you must enter a first name then I specify the control this validator applies so I select text box 1 now if I execute this code sample and I try to press submit without entering any value into the first name text field as you can see the user get an error message saying you must enter a first name the in interesting part is when trying to see the source code well the source code is the code the web browser understands and as you can see we got JavaScript additional JavaScript responsible for this validation if you carefully take a look at the code you will find that the uh, form element somewhere here it is the form element as the on submit attribute assigned with a value which is code in JavaScript meaning that when the user tries to press the submit button first this code is executed and the return value by this very specific JavaScript function which was auto generated for us if the return value is true only then the, the form submit proceeds and, and the, an HTTP request is sent to the server if web form on submit function return false then there won't be any request there won't be any request sent from the web browser to the server so the validation itself is actually JavaScript code that takes care of what we want to validate let's take a look at this function web form submit well let's search here is the function the function in JavaScript when execute when executed performs the validation.